Hey everybody, James Dean over here with Job Progress. Got another update video out for you today, a lot of cool features. So we're gonna go through each point and show you what's changed. First point we're gonna cover today, really big update to the clock in and clock out feature. You can now clock in and clock out on the website. So right for your work center, say log in. First thing in the day, you go right to your add button and there's an option to clock in. So you can do this from the website. Uh, you could also do it without a job now too. It's another part of the update. So in the past on the mobile app, you could only do it with the job. Now you don't need a job. As you can see, I'm not linked up with the job. I'm just clocking in for the day. And we're in. And on the right, you're going to see kind of like on the mobile app, if you guys are used to it, how you have the clock that follows you around. You're now going to have this clock that follows you around. So this is how you're going to tell if you're punched in. And second part of the update, you can now stay clocked in and switch jobs, right? It's going to kind of switch the clock to the new job, but you don't really have to take a bunch of extra steps to switch between jobs. Do it right from here. So remember, I punched in and did not link to a job initially. But now I could switch to a job. Just like that, select it. Here's my new punch. Just warning you, hey, it's just gonna make a new punch record for this job, all right, that's fine. I just don't have to do anything extra, right? And now it's gonna say I'm clocked in for this specific job and tally that up. All right, so that's the first way you're gonna do that, using the add button, clock in, clock out. As you can see, now I'm clocked in. I can clock out right from here. Many ways to do it, such as the way of job progress, right? Now you could also do it from a job. So if we head into a job, you can use the add button at the top and the add button on the, on the left side and both are going to have the same options, right? So clock out, clock out, right on the job, on the website, right here, clocking out. And as always, it's going to feed into your clock in, clock out logs, give you the location, all that good stuff right in here if you need it. All right, so the next point we're going to cover with this update is talking about the clock in, clock out report. So head over to your reports, clock in, clock out. And you're going to see a new option in the top right corner, add. What this button does, lets you add a manual punch, right? So maybe you forgot to punch in this morning, no big deal. You come in here and you can add a manual punch, let's say for 9 a.m., and maybe we punched out at 5.30. Hit save, and that punch is going to be added to your logs. Second part of the update, you can now edit the punches on this report per punch. So in the past, couldn't do this. You had to download the CSV and manually do it that way. So from now on, you come into this report, and as you can see, each punch is going to have its own pencil. And you can just click on the pencil. Update the punch, update, and it's going to just reflect those changes right on here. You don't have to go anywhere else to do it. This is a really awesome update. Love to hear the feedback from our subscribers. We hear what you guys are saying. You guys have asked about this a ton, and you have it. So please let us know what you think about it, and let us know if we can improve further. All right, so the next point we're going to cover is a quick update to the production calendar, color logic. You guys can do now is go to your actions, like color logic, and we just added in another option for the labor subcontractor. So if you just want to filter your calendar by their color assigned, you can now see that pretty easily. All right, and then the final point we're going to look at today is an update to the appointment history, appoint, upcoming appointment tracking that we have on the job. So you want to find yourself on a job. And chances are you're going to have some appointments for that job right in your customer details. And what you could do now is you hit on here. And in the past, you said view all. You have to look on the calendar. Um, no longer the case. What this is going to show you is a couple different ways to look at it. Right. So you could look list it out. Here's my upcoming appointments all the way down the line. If I have a bunch of things coming up, simple as that. I could also just look at a list of the past appointments so I don't have to go flipping through the calendar to see them all anymore. 
right? Maybe I want to see what the resolution was on this one, right? Or maybe I want to resolve my appointments. I can come in through here now and it's a lot easier to come here, resolve my appointments. Just like that, do it right from the job. It, it makes it a lot easier, but if you still like going through the calendar, you know, you totally can. Calendar view, and it's right back to the old way that it was. So either way will work. Love to have more options. Again, we hear about this from our subscribers, so keep coming. We'd love to hear from you guys. All right, with that being said, that's gonna about wrap it up for this update video. Please let us know if you have any questions. Give us a call on the support line, 844-562-7764, extension 2. Or send us an email, support at jobprogress.com. If you need help with any updates, if you need help with any other questions or training, we're always here to help. Thanks, everybody, and I'll catch you on the next one.